Are you ready for another challenge? This one brings together aspects not only of this chapter, but also of the previous two chapters. In the chapter 505 underscore 05 folder of the exercise files is this web page called multiplication.html. Let's load it into a browser. It displays this multiplication table from 1 to 12. And if we look at the HTML, the first table row consists entirely of table headers. But if we scroll down, the next row, the first cell, is a table header, but the remaining cells are all ordinary table cells. And that same pattern is repeated throughout. So there are 13 rows and 13 columns in all, a total of 169 cells. And in this version, all the table cells are hard-coded into the HTML. The challenge is to use PHP to generate the table dynamically. This is a much tougher challenge than previous ones. So how will you go about it? First of all, you'll need to think about using loops and counters. They're widely used in PHP, so this isn't just a fruitless exercise. It also involves simple calculations and working with conditional statements. To give you some guidance, the solution involves using three loops. Think which type of loop would be the most appropriate. Do they all need to be the same type? Also, think about how HTML tables are built. How do you create repeated table cells and then move on to the next row? Perhaps combining two loops, nesting one inside another, will do the trick. You also need to be careful that the loops produce valid HTML. A common mistake with loops is to omit a closing tag, which can make your HTML collapse like a house of cards. I estimate it'll take 20 minutes or more to work out how to generate this table dynamically with PHP. It might even take you longer. If you're in a hurry, take at least a few minutes to think about how this could be done. To make any progress with PHP, you need to start thinking about your own solutions rather than copying and pasting ready-made ones. In the next video, I'll show you how I did it.